Just into our newsroom, Rick Pitino has filed a lawsuit against Adidas. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Kayla Moody and for Rachel Platt. And I'm Doug Prophet. The story continues to widen at this very hour. Pitino is now claiming damages caused by the apparel company's dealings with recruits. This comes as 15 of the school's 21 head coaches, including interim coach David Padgett, signed a letter to Dr. Postal and the governor announcing their support, their gratitude for athletic director Tom Jurich. They highlighted the AD's accomplishments and stressed the importance of his work. It was a one-page letter that carried plenty of weight. Will this support, along with several community members, uh, show of support as well be enough to convince the trustees. Well, joining us live to talk about all that is the Courier Journal's beat reporter for U of L, Jeff Greer. Join us here before we ought to talk about the breaking news. He he goes after a company that until yesterday was paying him a pretty substantial <laughs> yeah. personal services contract and had announced a big deal with the university. Is there a disconnect here? What's going on, do you think, with this? Well, I, I think what we're seeing is Rick Pitino is, is trying to basically start firing at everybody. I mean, I think the lawsuit for, uh, for U of L will be coming soon, I would think, for breach of contract. And uh, we're seeing Adidas is now uh, in the crosshairs for them. And we have a copy of that lawsuit right here. Um, certainly not mincing words. It says Patino had nothing to do with Adidas' outrageous, wrongful, and illegal conspiracy. That's the wording from that lawsuit right there. Yeah, they're basically arguing in this lawsuit that uh, Adidas and these wrong actors, these bad actors, set him up, basically, is, is how I read that in the 30 <laughs> seconds that we had to scan it here. And, of course, but the FBI, we're, we're saying, is... We're hearing reports, of course, uh, and uh, his Steve Pence confirmed yesterday mm -hmm. that Rick Pitino is coach too, mm -hmm. that he made his whole defense at U of L yesterday as coach too. That I'm sure the viewers are saying, "Wonder, well, well, wait a second, isn't he being accused of being a part of the conspiracy?" Yeah, the one thing that's sort of confusing about the coach two stuff in the complaint is that uh, it, there's really no, it's sort of circumstantial evidence around Coach 2 and whether or not there was any specific wrongdoing with him. They kind of circle around him without truly pointing to anything specifically that he did wrong. It just looks bad, I guess, is the way, uh, you know, it would seem to most people. Um, but I think right now they're hoping that they can kind of use that innuendo in the FBI complaint to get as much out of this situation as they can before the bad news keeps coming, I guess. You know, tomorrow the focus switches to Tom Jurich. Mm -hmm. What are his chances for keeping his position? He has certainly probably more support, more public support than Rick Pitino did. Yeah, that's a good point. He's, this is a little bit muddier than, than Rick Pitino. Um, I, I think first and foremost, he understands, uh, you know, how to work this community. He's gotten these big name donors to come out in support of him. But you don't mess with David Grissom. At least that's what I've been told, the chairman of the Board of Trustees. And so it seems like they're probably in Grissom's corner. Uh, we've seen a lot of jostling. One thing to maybe keep an eye on tomorrow is what if they just don't make any decisions tomorrow mm -hmm. and delay it? Then this thing will drag on longer. Do you expect Tom Jurich to come in and make an impassioned plea for his job? He has, he has been very emotional in many news conferences in the past when he mm -hmm. bought brought Bobby Petrino back defending Rick Pitino. Mm -hmm. Do you think he thinks, if I could do it myself, I'll show up? You know, I, I wonder if he's a little too proud for that. I mm -hmm. wonder if, if he's not going to be perceived as sort of like, you know, kind of grousing for his job. I think he may, he may kind of let the arguments that have been made through the media, through some of the media outlets that uh, are closely tied with him uh, and some of the people who back him have kind of made the arguments for him. So I, I, he may not even show up. Maybe his lawyers will be there. We'll see. All right. Any big articles articles coming out? Do you want to? Uh, there's always on? something. Just go to <laughs> CourierJournal.com. Every single day there is something, if not, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff that you can read. All, All right. right. Jeff, thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Guys. Thank you, Jeff.